to see air movement in the think of it as a microphone. It's basically looking for the movement of air, and then it can develop patterns based on that movement. It sends it up through a USB connection into this network adapter, and it's going to be developed on the 4G LTE network with Verizon by the second quarter of this year. And then that sends it up to a HIPAA-compliant cloud, and that cloud will uh, aggregate that information. But what it can do is it can pick up um, just very, very subtle uh, movements such as heart rate or breathing rate. It can actually pick up bed exits and entrances, and uh, that's useful for things like uh, pressure sores or ulcers that occur. It's a big, big problem with Medicare. And, uh, just can be completely solved if a patient is turned every two to two and a half hours. So this can alert the caregiver through timers or the way it's configured to just notify them it's time to move that patient. They haven't been moved in a while. Uh, Alzheimer's is another one where patients shouldn't be getting out of bed, but they are. And this can detect the movement that happens before the bed exit occurs. And then it can uh, notify the caregiver to get over to that bedside. In addition, sleep apnea is another problem. It's known for this restlessness. They can really determine that from here. If you want to, actually, I'll show you a small demonstration. Just take a second. Sure. But if you want to just take it of a product because it's picking up all the noise that's happening in the convention center as well. And that doesn't look good. You're not really very helpful. <laughs> What's that frequency on there? At least it's something and not flatlining, yeah. It's not flatlining. That'd be bad. Yeah. I'll just explain this screen to you that the bridge. What we're really going to do is aggregate that information into determining your restfulness of your sleep, the movement, and of course, information related to heart rate and breathing rate. All can be brought up into like a sleep quote. And that's really how we can evaluate how a patient is sleeping. And that, that's provided to healthcare providers. Aside from the problems I talked about before, the idea is this will be a consumer product down the road where customers might be interested in giving that information to their own healthcare provider or maybe that provider would actually monitor their patients and then notify them when they detect that they have. So the whole thing is, we just sleep. That's all it takes for me. All you do is get in the bed and sleep. You don't have to do anything.